It's February 20. We're headed into Quartzsite, uh, mainly to see some places that we didn't uh, get to see the first day we were here. This is a place with lots of yard art, a lot of things it looks like that we would like to take home, but we don't have room to take it. Some of this stuff's kind of expensive. I noticed a horse here that was $900, just sheet metal, just spot welded together. But uh, whoever it is that does this, uh, they do a pretty good job. I didn't look at the price tag on this stagecoach with the horses in front of it. I'm sure it was expensive. I'm told that in, um, in Quartzsite, a lot of these vendors will make something and take it to Mexico and have it reproduced. Of course, they can have things built cheap down there. Then they bring it up to Quartzsite and sell it. I like the windmills this uh, guy has here. I think I'll try to make one like it. This is one of the typical areas of Quartzsite where you see a lot of little uh, small vendors, a lot of them in tents, some in, in uh, permanent structures. This where, is where you'll find just about anything, Je jewelry, clothing, food carts all over, RV, accessories, Everything you can imagine. I noticed the prices are pretty good, too. I kind of compared a couple things uh, with Amazon. If you'll notice on the right going down this street, a Canadian flag. There are 1.4 million Canadians that visit Arizona every winter. The amazing thing about this town is that it's approximately 4,000 population in the summer. In the winter, they estimate that approximately 2 million people visit Quartzsite in a typical winter. It is cold weather right now, according to them. It didn't seem cold to us, but cooler than what they're used to. Uh, 55, 60 during the day. Uh, I think they're used to the typical 70 to 75 that it normally is. And of course, uh, the forecast for next week, that's what it is. The big RV show in January takes up 20 acres, 69,000 square foot tent, fully carpeted. I'm told it's wall-to-wall -wall people everywhere. It is the largest RV show on earth. If you like rocks, this is the place to be. Crystal, quartz, all types of gems everywhere you look. For whatever reason, there's a lot of vendors here that sell rock. This is a permanent building loaded with everything carved out of wood. Lots of food vendors around Quartzsite. This guy um, sells homemade ice cream. Quite the ice cream maker. This is uh, part of the BLM camping area that we camped in. The diversity of RVs is kind of interesting. You'll see a uh, anything from an old beat-up van with someone living in it all the way up to a multi-million dollar Class A motorhome. We're still here at the BLM Plumosa camping area. We'll probably stay here for three or four more days and then we'll head on south. So we'll see you all down the road.